<clears throat> All right, let's do this. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. I can see the start. Start's got a little bit of potential. Not gonna lie. I kind of like it. Let's go with stone, whetstone, walrus tusk. Let's roll here. Got the bow and arrow, which is really nice. I'm also going to go with the spike shield next round. Because I also think that's going to be really nice. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and buy you. That can go there. Spike shield over there so you don't combine with my bow. Because I don't want a Tuscan poker. And reserve the shield. Thing is, do I want this banana? That's the question of the day. I will take the banana. I don't know if I really want it or need it, but... I will take you. This is a pretty even match, honestly. On the right side, at least he's got two melee weapons and we have our one spikes, which one spike could honestly make the difference in this battle considering. Um, but uh, it's a, did he crit me or something? Jesus Christ, I thought that was even. I feel like we just got shitted on. It's, it's felt like he crit me. I don't know if he did or not, but it felt like it. We got 11 gold. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get a spike shield here. And we don't really have space, unfortunately, which really does suck. Um, but I do want to get a customer card because I want the platinum customer card. I'm going to roll here. Okay, I got space, which is actually really, really nice. So we're going to go ahead and buy that. And next round, we'll get the banana. And hopefully we can go ahead and get ourselves a whetstone because we want to get the still goober ASAP. Going against a reaper, a little bit of food and a pan. They got healing and they also got the survivability because of the garlic and healing. You know what I mean? Um, but I think we'll be fine potentially. Hopefully, if we keep critting like that, we'll definitely be fine. We just got to hope that we can last long enough for that poison and that ramp up. But it seems like we can. Eight. We crit twice there for some weird reason. I'll take it though. Now, this is going to be an interesting round because I do want to get a second bow. I definitely want to get a second bow, but I also want to get this goober. Now, I'd say we, we can get a decent amount of activations off on this goober. I need another whetstone, though. That's what I really, really need. Also got a stone there. Um, But with us only having 1.1 accuracy, not 1.1 accuracy, but 1.1 stamina, I kind of just don't even know if I want to get this because that's going to be 1.5. And then we're not going to have a banana for the extra stamina generation, right? Which will probably hurt us. But on the other side, that's going to be a whole nother activation that I'll be able to use on this side. Which will make healing easier. Um, and the short bow doesn't get affected by shield. So there's that as well. So I'm going to take it, I think. And I'm going to buy the stone. Um, and we'll just go with this. Okay, so no shield. It does have a shovel. Um, but his DPS doesn't seem all too great, honestly. It's just he has the leather armor. We just gotta hope that we can blast through this leather armor um, before he's able to kill us. It's a good thing we have the Goober, though, because the Goober's gonna help us out with healing. This is really gonna come down to fatigue, I think, because now we're out of stamina, which sucks. But the Goober, with its healing, really helps, and then fatigue kicks in, and we're probably gonna win this. Yeah. If he had better DPS, that would have been a way different story, I think. Let's get you and you. I would, you know, I'm gonna get the garlic because it's on sale. Okay. I do not regret my choices. I definitely do not regret my choices. And honestly, I would like a leather armor as well. Yeah. Okay, so what is this? Round four. What we'll do here is... I think we're just gonna put the food up here, honestly. A little something like this. Um, and then we'll just roll into next round. Hopefully we can get more space next round. This is still a little bit risky. I would love to get this combination off here for the for the sword, but that's definitely not gonna happen. I mean, hopefully we can win next round because that's what we really, really need. Oh, he's got a shield. He's got double wet stone and a torch. He's got a survivability, and then he's gonna go into berserker mode. I don't think we win this. Honestly, that shield's gonna hurt us so much with our stamina. Um, I mean, on the bright side, at least we do have spike shields. So spikes is going to help us. And hopefully we can heal enough with um, with the Goobert here. So far, so good. If we make it through this Berserker mode, we do win. I wasn't expecting to win. Honestly, I think we do. Wow. 
I guess I underestimated the healing of the goober. Because that's really what carried us, I think. I think his DPS is definitely better than ours, but the, the healing of the goober kept us alive there. So let's go ahead and get that hero sword as soon as possible. I'm also going to pick up this lucky clover. And if I can roll for space... Okay, not the space that I want it, but it's the space I will take. Uh, but I do want to upgrade both of these into Fortuna Hopes. That's the that's the plan. Um, that is definitely the plan. A little sad I haven't seen any blueberries. That kind of sucks, but hopefully we'll be fine regardless. Um, let's see here. Where do I want to put this fanny pack? I could put it on the food. Putting it on the weapons would be ideal, but that also means that I'm missing out on one of the whetstones there, which is not ideal. Um, I guess the only other choice would be putting it on this guy right there. So at least this guy can be a little bit faster. And then I can also upgrade it like so. Um, but yeah, and if you guys are wondering why I don't have the food as an activator on the goober instead of the shield is because usually the shield activates faster than the food does. But if you're going against something that doesn't have melee weapons like a reaper that only has like food and poison, then you're kind of fucked, right? This will never activate. But if you're going to get someone that has melee weapons, then like this guy, usually the spike shield will activate more than the food will activate. Um, usually, especially if they have more than one weapon, but this person only has one weapon, so that kind of sucks. So maybe the food would have been better in this situation, more than likely, because this still hasn't activated at all. But he's only that's his second hit rate, and we're about to go on our second activation for our banana and our god. So then it activated, right? So this activated once, this activated what three times so far? So yeah, it really just depends on who you're going against. Reapers, probably not the best play. Rangers probably is uh, honestly every other class except Reaper probably is the best play to rock the shield as an activator because usually they're rocking more than one weapon, right? Um, so yeah, but yeah, enough of that. We'll probably win this because they're dead <laughs> and yeah, which is great. Boom. So now we can get our still goober, which is amazing. We can also drop this down by one as another activator. So now our activators are just pretty much better. And we can also put these inside fanny packs now, which is even better. Um, don't really have space for the leather armor, but I do want to get this degen lamp because I like the degen lamp and it's on sale. I'm going to need it anyways. So we're definitely going to be doing that. I can honestly just switch these around in order for my uh, stones to be affected by the hero sword as well, which might be a little bit more damage yeah so we're gonna buy you um don't have any more money i would love to roll for space here i might just roll one time for space but i kind of do want to figure out this space situation now that we have the dj lamp is every two seconds which is probably going to be a better activator than the spike shield so that's realistically what i would like to do but then i need a spot to put my spike shield and we did not get any space which sucks um a lot unless we're able to i mean we can move this around a little situation like this spike shield can go there that can go there and then that can go there so then yeah this works out well um i do want to get a cap because i love the caps of brazil they are amazing and yeah we should win this i mean he's only got one dagger he's only got a hammer right um we don't really care about the dragon skin boots double banana mm. So, as far as DPS and healing goes, I feel like we're just better. Especially now that we have the Hero Sword uses up less stamina than the regular sword does. Um, and then Fortuna's Hope giving us that extra Clover, which means extra crit. Which is only 22 right now, but I mean, it's going to keep stacking 25 right now. So, I say we win. We got our healing. Um, we got our DPS. Especially DJ Lamp, you know what I mean? So, yeah. That's a nice little W. Thank you, sir. And now we get the Steel Goober, which means we're going to be doing a little bit of rearranging. And next round is going to be the round that we get our class item as well, um, which is going to be exciting. So we're going to be rocking this. Probably should just put the fanny pack up here because the weapons being faster just matters. And then we have enough activations for pretty much everything, which is awesome. So we'll do that. So this side will just be... Uh, Honestly, I had it right the first time. It'll be something like this. So there's that. We have a little bit of money. Um, I can... What, what is that? 11. So I also want to get this acorn collar. 
Um, so what we'll do is we'll buy this leather bag and I'm just going to go ahead and buy the leather armor because that's just going to be more armor at the end of the day, more survivability, which is great. Um, and next round, we're going to have to get the clover and we're going to need space for the clover, which is extremely unfortunate um, because I also want to get these two, but they are expensive. So what I could do is not get these two and just hope for space, utilize the clover and get these two later because they're not extremely essential for the build that I'm trying to do. They're just nice to have on the side, right? So I say we're just not going to get them. We're going to get them later. Almost a similar build as us. They went with hero sword affecting both of their bows and arrows, which isn't a bad play, honestly. I don't know why they're going for uh, the claws of attack, though. I got a little food situation here. Okay. I see what they're cooking up. I think we're probably going to beat them, though, because we have DPS increase, which is going to be the Fortuna's hopes. Or the Fortuna hope in the, in the short bow on the steel goobert. Um, so, yeah, that's a thing. This is a really close battle, though, surprisingly. Are we going to actually lose this? Okay, that was a lot closer than I thought it was going to be. Very surprisingly, a lot closer than I thought it was going to be. Um, we might actually be able to get a gin proc on one of the bows and arrows since we do have a steel goober. Um, unless we run into someone that removes buffs or something like that, then we're fucked. But other than that, we might be able to get a gin proc. So let's go ahead and get the clover. We got ourselves a mana orb, which I do want. Could turn that into a mana thirst as well, which could be interesting. Um... That's another option. Bloodthorn is there too. That's another option. But I kind of do just want to keep the low stamina of the uh, the short bows in a Fortuna Hope. If I'm being completely honest. And I do want to turn this one into a Fortuna's Hope. Just to, you know, that chance of gaining more clovers. Which I do like. But the mana orb I do want. TDH. Um, so... Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna buy the mana orb. We have eight gold, I'm gonna roll. Okay. I got space. I'm gonna keep the space, roll again. Don't really want anything here. Roll again. Okay, that wasn't horrible, actually. Yeah, that was not horrible. Okay, so we're gonna pick up the stone, sting in this potion, cause that is just gonna activate because of the leather armor. And we can also upgrade it. Um, we're going to pick up more space and we're also going to pick up this card so we can get the platinum card. Now it's pretty much going to be a play. Now we just got to figure out where we can actually put this mega clover situation and still keep our activations. Yeah, that can go there and then we can just do that. That works. That works. That works. Because we don't really need the mana orb to be anywhere since we're not utilizing mana for anything. Okay. So that's a thing. Going against an ice pyromancer build. He's only got one form of DPS, which is his Burning Torch. Um, but Ice does scare me, so I'm not really sure how well this is going to go for us. Because this inflicts four cold. But it's every three seconds, so it does expire, but... Mm. And then seven heat gain inflict two cold. But he's only got the Burning Torch, but he does have a lot of food. So that's a concern. It seems pretty decently even right now, but it can go sideways very fast, especially with that heat generation just keeps stacking and stacking and stacking up. And I don't think we're going to get a Jin proc mainly because we don't have a weapon on it. But even if we did have a weapon on it, they do have the Jakunic orb removing spikes. So our spike count will just forever be low and it's already in fatigue. He's got more health than we do. But that double 24 critical is massive. We got 10 clovers, 40% crit. We're going to have to rely on that crit a lot. Oh, we didn't crit there. Ooh, that was very close. Very, 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 very close. Okay, so let's get... How much gold? We only got 12 gold. We're going to need a lot more gold than 12. Um, So we can either get the stone skin potion or... The customer card. Where have I been? In the middle of the ocean. <laughs> I'm going to get... 
gonna get the customer card. Just so I can get the platinum card now. And I can go ahead and get me a combination for the Fortuna's Hope. We'll get you next round. I'm gonna roll. Did not get what I wanted. Did not get what I wanted. And I don't really want Gloves of Haste. Still didn't get what I wanted. Kinda? I mean, we can probably get Acorn Collar now. At least that'll help with our crit chance. Which can lead to a W, which is what we want. So, yeah. How's your experience on how I shouldn't be alive? What is that? I don't know what that is. Oh, we're going to get a potion build. Interesting. Interesting. Not really sure what he's going for here, but our armor really doesn't matter because spear is a thing. He's also got torch. He's going to be healing for a lot. I wonder what kind of build he's going for because I really do not understand it. Um, but poison's probably going to be our biggest downfall here in this match. Unless our DPS scaling can compete with the poison. But he's also got healing. Which is going to be a pain. So I say we lose this, honestly. Because he's still got two health potions left. Plus regeneration and everything. Yeah, that's an L. That's fine, though. That is fine. Okay, so we got the Platinum Customer card. And we also managed to get the Reaper items. But is it too late? With the build we're going for here... I really don't think there's any items on the Reaper that can benefit me. Yeah, there really isn't. So, um, yeah, we probably just shouldn't get that. Honestly, I mean, every three seconds inflict a random debuff could be cool. Especially as like a better activator, but I don't think it's going to be worth. Um, with that being said, we have 13 gold. I'm going to go ahead and get the stone skin potion. Just to upgrade it. And... I think it's time I get rid of the spike shield. But I don't want to get the skull badge. I could get the glowing crown. Glowing crown could be beneficial. Especially since we have mana orb. We can utilize that invulnerability. Um, and it could be another activator. How much do you sell for? Four? I'll be at 11. I could sell a clover. I don't usually like selling my clovers, though. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. It also gives me a little bit more space, too. So I don't think that was a horrible play. And for the mana, we could usually honestly just do that for the mana. Um, because we're kind of lacking on space like a lot right now. So yeah, it was a TV show about people stuck in a bad situation where they survive a WoW to rescue. I've never watched that. <laughs> Sounds interesting though. Okay, they don't have any dragons yet. And they only got one form of DPS. Well, they got two forms of DPS, but the Burning Sword isn't touching the Molten Dagger. So there's that. Um, vulnerability is about to hit soon, which is good. If we can get a clover proc, that would be phenomenal, but I doubt it'll happen. I doubt it. Yeah, the battle's not going to last long enough. This invulnerability need, needs to hit, like, now. Okay, never mind. It didn't need to hit now, but that was risky and scary. Now, this is interesting because there's a fencing fencing rapier here on sale. And I do like my fencing, my fancy fencing rapiers. I do like them a lot. Um, but rocking it with double Fortuna's race i don't think it's the play because that's going to be a 1.4 every second not really a fan of 1.4 every second unless we had stamina generation which we really don't accept the banana but i feel like we need more stamina generation than that so what i could do is sell one of these keep one but sell one and then it's going to be a straight up just one stamina a second which is better but this is going to increase our dps which is the only reason i'm considering 
buying one in the first place. Um. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna sell you. Buy you. What are we at? 11. So I can also buy these two as well, which is nice. Roll. Got a clover. Stone. Okay. Now, where are we putting you? I don't know yet, but I will definitely have to figure that out. What I could do is move this like so, and then do this. Put that there. Put this here. Um, I do want to, I, I got to get me another activator because I would like to be able to utilize this gin proc somehow while also still like getting its effect, the weapons effect on the still goober. But there's not really a way for me to do that. I don't think just because of the way it's set up. So I'd have to replace this activator with something else and just move this somewhere. But we can't really do that right now, unfortunately. Um, let's replace you just so I can try to make this a little bit more even. Make it make it make a little bit more sense. Acorn collar is going right there. You can go right there. This can go right there. And then we can do boom, boom, and boom. That's all the space. I would love to put this stone skin potion somewhere though. I'd have to choose between stone skin potion and cap resilience. And I'm really not sure which one I want to do. I feel like the cap will just be better. Yeah, I feel like the cap is just better. I wonder if I should do this instead. If I did that, yeah, I could still fit my armor. I'll just have to do boom, boom. Armor goes there and then boom. So that's probably going to be a little bit more mana generation since it's going to be on a rapier, which is faster than the glowing crown. So I think that's good. I'll get me a protective purse as well, but we really need like some big boy space um, soon. What's my favorite ice cream? I'd say cookies and cream or some chocolate, vanilla, cookie, Oreo, brownie combination <laughs> from somewhere. But usually my go-to would be cookies and cream. I feel like that's everyone's go-to though. This is going well so far. We're critting for 20 in Every time is just increasing his DPS. Well, when we miss, it increases his DPS, which is great. Plus, the clover generation uh, from the bone arrow is nice, but there's berserker mode, and he has a double axe. Plus, he has the steel goober. Oh wow, my invulnerability proc the the last minute, the very last freaking minute. All right, give me some big boy space. No, come on, game. Oh, Shield of Valor, I need that. I need this. Okay, that wasn't horrible, per se. Wasn't ideal. I didn't want to roll that many times. Um, I'm going to start a protective purse just to get this potion belt and put a lot more items down. I'll just those items um man we need so much space the game is not being nice with space right now i would love to get a moon shield in combination with this still goober and leather armor and a potion but we need so much space i don't even know if that's going to be possible to be honest but i can still try because that's gonna be a lot of money we're not even going to be able to get it next round Wow. I've never seen a build like this before. He's rocking Fancing Fencing Rapier with Fortuna's Hope, and he's got four flutes. He doesn't even need the stamina. I'm assuming he's doing it for the clovers. He's got to be doing it for the clovers. He's got to be doing it for the clovers to get a Mega Clover proc. Wow. I didn't even think about that, but that is... Interesting. Oh no, because this is going to eat up all his clovers. So he's not doing it for the clover proc. I guess he's just doing it for the increase in DPS on his rapier. Because it's definitely increasing its DPS faster than mine is. And mine is on a steel goober. So that's saying something. 
Oh, wow. And he's got it in all triple fanny packs, too. I just got humbled. That is insane. Good build, though. Kudos to that guy. I can't get the shield available right now. I can't. I can't. I feel like if I want to win, I just can't. Um, I think what I will do is get this mana orb, though. Come on, game. Oh, my God. The game really doesn't want to give me space. I have to struggle with this small backpack of mine. I'm going to do this just so that the glowing crown can proc sooner. And I'll get this space and I'll get a blueberry. Man. Um, I could just get rid of the garlic. That'll free up two slots. We don't really need stamina from the banana, so I think getting rid of the banana is probably better. So we'll do that. And that way I can put all these clovers down. That'll probably help better. Um, hopefully. There's a slight, slight increase. Going against a blood goober. Okay. We'll see how this goes. Blood goober on the berserker is interesting. He's also got the, uh, the ranger items in there. He got the bone arrow. Um, that's really about it. Carrot. Lucky pig. That's really about it, though. I think this has been better. The 56 criticals are nice. If we can make it past this berserker mode, we're fine. He does have the collar. No. Oh, no. Oh, wow. Barely. Barely because of stamina. Barely. Barely won. We'll take that, though. Um, let's... I'm gonna get you rolled... Okay, finally some big boy space. Thank you. Another acorn collar would be nice, but I kind of want to fish for space again. I'm gonna fish for space again. Okay. Alright. I will take that. I will take that. Okay. That was way better. That was way better. Um, I'm actually going to move you over here. I think. Do that. And we'll go boom, boom. That way I can just upgrade this leather armor into a stone armor. That'll give me more armor at the end of the day, which is going to be great. And then we can just fill up all the rest of these spaces like so. And that'll work for me. Yeah, that'll work for me. What's your favorite ice cream to get from the ice cream, man? I don't even know. Your cheesecake, man? Cheesecake ice cream sounds insane. I don't know what my favorite ice cream to get from the ice cream man is, though. That's a good question. I haven't gone to the ice cream man in, like, forever. An egg scouter pyromancer build will probably lose because of their scaling, I think, of just heat. And they have nice mana generation, too. They're going to probably get that 100 damage dealt whenever they get up to the 80 heat. And they were just going to insta die, I think. We would have to out DPS this build, but their survivability is just too much. Yeah. Good game, though. I'm going to go ahead and get the shield. I was hoping to get lucky there and get some space, but... Okay, I got the shield. Um... I want the shield to be touching this goober. And I also want it to touch the stone armor. So I got to figure out how I'm actually going to do that. I think rotating the fencing, fencing rapier might be a good play here. If I did something like this instead. Um, and then possibly... Moving the entire board up by one. Or maybe even by two. Like this. And then I could put the shield down here, right? Armor can go here. 
and then we could just put this potion there. That way, this is touching everything. That still has its activations. That still has its activations. Um, we're missing this guy, so we'll just put you there. Clover can go there, and everything else can just go wherever it wants. That kind of works for me. Could do... No, because there's no spot for this to go. Yeah, so that's... Gotta go there. <clears throat> it's not horrible. Oh, but I do want a moon shield. Huh. So I could do this. That way I can get my moon shield. And I still got double activators on that. That works for me. And it would just fill this entire space up with a bunch of clovers, like so. That works for me. I'm gonna get this other. I'm gonna get this other one. Because why not? Uh. Yeah, we're not reducing their stamina at all. Because these two don't use stamina, and then those are bows and arrows, which aren't affected by the shield of Aelor. So that's unfortunate. Um. They are also rocking the piercing arrow. Don't know why they have the Tuscan poker. That's interesting. They don't have the crit thing, the uh, Jakunic orb, so we don't have to worry about that. Interesting build, but they are going to crit because they, oh, 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 I guess double acorn collar. One of Fortune's grace as well, critting 100% uh, already. Okay. Yeah, 41 critical. We've got to utilize this vulnerability like crazy right here. 64. Come on, we need like five of those. Oh my god. One more, one more, one more. Okay. One more, please. Let's go. Let's freaking go. New cam angle? Yeah, I think it's a little bit better. Age 30 years? You're so mean. I'm gonna get you, you. We got our moon armor now, which is great. Um, let's roll. I will take the space. Roll. Another clover. If we could insta proc this at the start of the game before the fencing rapier starts going crazy, that'd be great. But I don't know if we have enough clovers for that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Yeah, we definitely don't have enough clovers for that. Definitely do not. I do want that to make the rapier faster. I'm just going to put this back right there. More mana. Our best bet is just to get a mana or a proc. Which is going to be extremely hard because we have the glowing crown. I don't even know if it would be possible to get a digin lamp proc. We could try to get a Dijon Lamp proc. We could utilize the shield as an activator for the Goober instead of the Dijon Lamp. Right. And then do that. So that's still touching everything. And the Lamp can go... Here. That way it's still inside of the uh the fancying bag um this can go there you can switch those two around so that's better activators and then these can just go wherever they want like that okay so we might actually be able to get a dj lamp proc depending on who we actually go against and maybe a mana or proc. Actually, no. With this moon shield situation, we're gonna insta proc the glowing crown. I don't know how I feel about that. On the bright side though, we do have still goober, which is gonna be infinite mana. And we do have double mana orb. So we might be able to get that mana generation back up for it to be vital. We'll have to see, depending on who we go against. And this is who we go against. That's not good. It's a burst build. So we're proudly fucked. Hey, Thod. How's it going? Proudly fucked. When's the TikTok face cam coming back? You talking about the vertical cam? 
<laughs> I was thinking about doing that one, actually. Max out sun armor, burning sword plus burning torch. He's got obsidian dragon on the dragon S, and he's also got phoenix plus a maxed out chili goober. Probably going to die to burst because we can't insta proc anything except, well, actually, no. We insta proc the glowing crown, so we're not going to get crit on a bunch here. Well, as, at least not as much as we would have because of his three draconic orbs. So that's good, at least. Now we just have to hope and pray. We're not going to get a proc, though, of the Dejan lamp because he's got three of those removing spikes. And he's out DPSing us for sure. On the bright side, we did manage to get a mana orb proc. So those buffs could help even in the slightest, which seems like it's doing that, which is awesome. But he came back to life because of the Phoenix, which means we got to do a lot more work again. One more hit, he's dead, but oh my God, we managed. We actually managed. I don't even did this proc. I wonder if it procced because of the mana orb. Getting those random buffs was enough to get that thing to proc. Because it started doing a lot of damage, and I was not expecting it to start doing that much damage. Because right here, it did 64. 28. Um, Kind of look for when the mana orb actually managed to proc here. Because I don't... I don't think it procced. So yeah, so right here, we're gaining a bunch of buffs. But yeah, it never procced. So I guess that was just from the DPS increase. Because after, look at the buffs we gained. We didn't gain any spikes at all. So yeah, that thing never procced. But I guess just an overtime DPS increase is what really did it for us. Hell yeah. We'll take that because we really needed that W. We really did. Got the fencing pack roll. I will take a protective person sale and a lucky clover. What I could also do is get the corrupted armor, which could help, but I kind of need like a lot of space right now to utilize the rest of these lucky clovers in order to at least try to get an insta proc on his mega clover. So I'm gonna pass on that. An acorn collar would also be W on the fencing, fencing rapier. I'm gonna, I'm gonna reserve that actually and roll. Okay. We got the space. Hmm. Not sure what I want to do now. But I'm gonna have to figure it out. I mean, I could sell a protective purse and this stone. We don't need this stone anymore. So I could sell that because I don't want to sell any clovers. How many are we at? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So. We're at max out clovers to, to get an insta proc on that, which is great. I can sell the platinum card. Yeah, let's sell the platinum card. I don't think we're going to be able to utilize it all too well anymore anyway, so I'm just going to sell it. Um, and see if we could fill up these slots, which looks like we can't. We need more space, and I do want to use that. Man, roll did not get space. We don't need any more clovers, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. So yeah, we don't need any more clovers. I literally just need one space open here somewhere. Anywhere. Best thing I can get rid of would probably be the garlic, honestly. Because a blueberry is faster in order to do this. But if that's the case, I might as well just do this. Because that's just going to be a faster rocking anyways. Let's sell that, I guess. Then again, getting this clover might not be bad. 
because if they have the cap of discomfort that 15 percent chance to nullify a buff gain will just not make this proc anyways so getting an extra clover wouldn't be horrible and i do want to use this cap i mean i could also do this because that's still 20 right one two three four five six seven eight 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Wait, 19? Hold up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Wait, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Okay, we're at 19. So I need this to go somewhere. Which means I might as well just do this. Oh, you're not. There we go. That would have been bad. <laughs> okay. That'll work for me. Still speaking another language is crazy. Interesting. Why are you going for double moon armor? What are you using your mana for? For you to want to go double moon armor? I don't know. They don't have a spectral dagger or anything like that. They just got a bloody dagger. I mean, yeah, they just got bloody daggers. Well, just one bloody dagger. Um, and a blood goober. I say we win this. Boom, insta proc the clover, which was beautiful. Which also means I think, yeah, we proc the Dejan lamp, which is even better. We could get a second Dejan lamp proc here if we manage to gain more spikes. It doesn't even matter. I think we just kill. Yeah, we just kill. Unless you just miss and then kill. So, yeah, we just kill. Good game. That was a good game, though. I'm gonna get the protective purse just because I need space. Honestly, getting this might not be bad. I don't know where I would use it, though. I'm gonna roll. Um, I need space. Yes, That's exactly what I needed. One more, two more, five more, six more. I only got one thing here. fanny pack i will take this actually i can put you right there this can go there there and then there and one more roll just for good luck yeah boom i could sell you for one gold and buy nothing it's sell the blueberry too just to get an extra clover all right that's the build we thought clovers would be crazy. Me. Going against a super busted bait. This is like DPS versus DPS. This is essentially what this build is. Because they got high DPS, but we also have high DPS. So whoever has the highest DPS wins the game. But it looks like it's going to be us. Because he's doing 64. We're doing 70. He did 124, but he's in Berserker mode. So there's that. As soon as he comes out of Berserker mode, we win the game. But he does have four collars. So is he going to come out of Berserker mode is the question. And he's out of stamina, which is helping us so much right now. One more hit. Okay, two. Okay, one more hit. One more, one more. There we go. Good game. That'll do it. That will freaking do it. A very janky, but worked out well. Fencing, fencing, rapier, fortunus hope build. The way that this build works, or the way that I did it, was I pretty much utilized still Goobert in the mid game um, with double bows and arrows to like survive. And then I just got the fencing, fencing, rapier, focused on trying to get some Dejan procs, utilizing moon shield with stone armor. More potions would have been nice, but yeah, just utilizing this to get mana, um, to get a mana orb proc, and honestly getting the glowing crown to insta proc early to combat against that pyromancer uh burst build was just beautiful. I wasn't intending that to be a thing, but it worked. It honestly worked very surprisingly. That two seconds being invulnerable, taking that much less damage at the beginning of the game because of the obsidian dragon critting for 30 damage helped so much so that was not intended play but that was definitely a really really good play yeah that was a good game